Bonjour mes amis. In this segment, we're going to hear a bit more music and learn a little bit more about what makes French and English different from one another. We're going to hear a song sung by Petula Clark, whom you might know from the song Downtown, which came out in the 1960s. Petula Clark was English and born in England, but she also sang in German, Italian, Spanish, and French. She had a number of hit songs in France, and the one we're going to hear now is called Un Petit Chien Noir. After the song, we'll see why the words in the title are important, but for now, just listen and follow the story in the song. There's no video of Petula Clark singing this song live, but there is one of a very dedicated fan doing sort of a karaoke version, which is what you're going to see here. So take a look, and then we'll talk about the lyrics. Un petit chien noir Avec un collier rouge M'a suivi dans la rue Un matin Un petit bâtard Avec la queue qui bouge Et des yeux pétillants et malins J'ai regardé son collier Mais il n'y avait pas de nom Quand j'ai voulu le chasser Il a filé dans la maison J'ai dit non C'est non À qui voudra le prendre Moi j'irai Dès demain Le donner Un petit Chien noir Avait l'air de comprendre Les enfants Se sont mis à pleurer J'ai dû céder comme toujours J'ai promis de le garder Si dans un an et un jour Personne ne l'avait réclamé Ce petit roublard A su si bien s'y prendre Que je dois Aujourd'hui, vous l'avouez Si jamais quelqu'un Venait nous le reprendre Je serais la première à pleurer Oui, je serais la première à pleurer Okay, so in the title of the song, you can hear Petula singing about un chien noir, a black dog. But take a look at the French and English versions of this little phrase and try to see what's different from one to the other. In both cases, it's the same three-word phrase, but notice that while in English we say black dog, in French we say chien noir. The adjective or the word that describes the dog, noir, comes after the thing being described. And in fact, that's how it is with most adjectives in French. They come after the thing they describe. So a black dog in English becomes un chien noir in French. Okay, now that we know that, let's practice it a little bit. I'm going to ask you to talk about your pets using adjectives of color. So first, let's learn les couleurs, colors. Noir. Noir, noir, noir. Blanc, blanche, blanc, blanche. Vert, verte, vert, verte. Jaune. Jaune, bleu, bleu, rouge, rouge. 
rouge. Violet, violette. Violet, violette. Gris, grise. Gris, grise. Brun, brune. Brun, brune. Orange. Orange. To see the vocabulary for colors in your online textbook, go to chapter 4, Liste de vocabulaire, and then Les couleurs, colors. Notice that as with most adjectives, most of these have a masculine and a feminine version. Pause the video now and take a moment to study these using your textbook or the video you just saw. Okay, now that we know a bit more about colors, we're ready to talk about les animaux, animals. Here's a short list for you to memorize, which covers most pets that people tend to have. Un oiseau, un chat or une chatte, un chien or une chienne, un poisson, un cheval, and un serpent. Because dogs and cats are such common animals, in French we have a masculine and a feminine version for each, so un chien for a male dog, une chienne for a female dog, un chat for a male cat, and une chatte for a female cat. So, if I know my colors and the names of some animals, I can now tell you about which animals I have at home. I'll start and then you follow my example. J'ai un chien orange. In my sentence, I use the phrase j'ai for I have, un since my dog is male, chien and not chienne because again, he's male, and orange because, well, he's orange. Orange is an adjective that doesn't change from masculine to feminine, but if you use any of these adjectives, blanc, blanche, bleu, bleu, gris, grise, noir, noir, vert, vert, violet, violette, you'll want to make sure you use the correct form. Okay, now I'll put my sentence back on the screen and you can use it as a model for your own sentences. Go ahead, pause the video and tell us about what pets you have and what color they are. So, how did you do talking about your pets? Hopefully you were able to put the words in the correct order with the adjective, the color, at the end and using the correct masculine or feminine form as needed. So that's good. But we still need to come back to Petula Clark's Petit Chien Noir because there's something that we missed. You know now that adjectives, words that describe different things, people, places, usually come after the thing they describe, as in un chien noir, un chien orange, une chatte grise, un poisson vert, and so on. But if that's true, un petit chien noir seems to break that rule, at least with one word, petit. If we have two words that describe the dog, small and black, petit et noir, why do we put petit before the word for dog and noir after, un petit chien noir? Well, that's because, as often happens in any language, there's a rule and then there are exceptions to that rule. And petit is one of those exceptions. It belongs to a small group of adjectives that come before the noun, which remember is unusual in French. Sometimes this group of adjectives is called the bangs group because they're words that talk about beauty, age, number, goodness, and size. Take a moment and look at this group of adjectives in your online textbook in chapter four, grammaire, 4.3 adjectives that precede the noun. There you'll see words like beau, belle, bon, bonne, grand, grande, gros, grosse, jeune, joli, joli, Mauvais, mauvaise, nouveau, nouvelle, petit, petite, and vieux, vieille. And all these come before the thing they describe. So let's say I wanted to tell you not only that my dog is orange, but that he's also a good dog. Well, in that case, I need to find my adjective for good, bon or bonne, choose the masculine form since my dog is male, and that's going to be bon, and then put it into my previous sentence. So, j'ai un bon chien orange, just like Petula Clark, a un petit chien noir. Take these two examples as a model and add a word from the bangs group, 4.3 adjectives that precede the noun, to your description of your pet. Pause the video now and give it a try.
So, how did you do? Of course, there are any number of answers you could have given, but they should have looked something like these. Un gros chien noir, un jeune chien orange, une jolie chatte grise, un beau poisson vert. Et voilà, mes amis, c'est tout. That's all for this segment. À la prochaine!